So guys, for today, we're gonna unbox a popcorn maker, which is the Betty Crocker Movie Night popcorn maker. There you go. So we will see what's inside of it. So first and foremost, let's open it now. We'll find. Okay. So basically, there's a manual inside, as always, and uh, we have a measuring cup, or like a very tiny plastic measuring cup. And then inside is the oh, it's the popcorn maker itself. It's kind of neat and yeah. So there's a on and off button and a plastic um, attachment to the dot. So I think I'm gonna attach it like this if I'm not mistaken. So basically, that's how it's supposed to be, right? Yeah, I think so. And I honestly don't know how to to do this but yeah I guess that's it it's like that I don't know so if we look at the manual we'll see how it's supposed to be oh how we're gonna do it so or six inches high so basically you'll see if your bowl is enough to fit this high this high like this long yeah basically yeah, just a you know a medium it's actually like a i don't know if it's a steel or aluminum kind of thing but yeah it's pretty neat and it's clean and i'm sure yeah so place six liters or large bowl in front of the chute it's here so do not uh should not be more than 15 cm or six inches high. So basically, you'll see if your bowl is enough to fit this high, this high, like this long. Yeah. Basically, yeah, just a you know a medium bowl will do. Uh, let's see if I have. Actually, they said it is here six inches, and uh, a bowl with a top of diameter of at least thirty or twelve inches will is recommended. That's what it says here. So basically, six inches high and twelve inches diameter, the the length. If the plastic bowl is used, be sure it will stand heat without melting so it would stand heat without melting so basically you need to um use a plastic bowl or that won't melt in extreme heat like i mean because it could touch in here in here so that's what they're talking about like just to you know make sure everything is gonna be um safe yeah and not on fire i mean glass is the perfect bowl for popcorn stew and for here because it creates heat and we don't want plastic to burn okay and to melt or whatever and metal bowl may become hot to touch. So that's why I guess really either plastic that doesn't really melt um, or like can stand heat and uh, or a metal bowl will do or a ceramic, whatever bowl you have, except for metal and maybe pl very thin plastic that, you know, will melt away. Next will be, so place a kernel scoop inside the opening of the top of the thing. For butter popcorn, take two tablespoons of butter or margarine place in a dish or microwave for up to 20 seconds you know what this this sometimes what they do is they use this one for uh what do you call it they put margarine in it so for example you already put your popcorn in here and then you want to use this for melting your butter you can put your butter here so while doing your popcorn say well while the popcorn is popping and then creating heat then your margarine or the melted butter will melt here it will create heat and then you can use this one liquefy and then eventually you get a popcorn and there you go. You have popcorn or melted butter at the same time. For a buttered popcorn, take two tablespoons of butter, margarine, place in a dish, and microwave up to 20 seconds. So you don't really need to do that. I mean, if you have this one, you can actually do that as well. Up to you. Plug cord, a 120, turn on a switch to turn on. The kernel will take a few minutes to heat before popping begins. Never leave until unattended and always ensure that canopy and kernel scoop are properly in place while the unit is plugged in. So basically, you still need this until you do your thing i mean because it can pop right it'll pop up so a 
it'll be a big mess if that happens that you don't have the cover in here on the top. So the popping cycle when popping sounds become infrequent or less intense, approximately two to three seconds between pops. To avoid burning your popcorn, immediately press the on off switch to the off position and plug the unit from the wall out. So basically you'll see. Okay, so we're gonna try this one because this is my first time having a popcorn maker. That's why I want you to see guys if Betty Croker popcorn maker is really, you know, good enough. I mean, for just a regular popcorn. I mean, I don't usually eat popcorn often. It's just that we have popcorn right here now. So that's why I bought this one. I bought this at Canadian Super, uh, I mean, Canadian Tire for 17 point something. And then you need to add tax on it. So seven, I, didn't, I guess 17.96 kind of. Yeah, so that's it for that. And yeah, so let's see. I'm gonna do this. I'll try. I'll try this one. And then it says three cups. Uh, so 10 cups of unsalted popped popcorn. One cup. Okay, so heat oven to 20. Da -da -da. Bake for one hour. So two degrees. Okay. So basically one one level of these will do. Okay, now I'm just gonna um, wait for a second. And then we'll, we'll give you... We'll get the popcorn first, and then we'll try this one on, okay? So I'm gonna put this... Ooh. So guys, I have my popcorn or purple, purple kernel grains here. And we're gonna try it on, okay? It's just hard for me. Okay. So there you go, popcorn. So we're gonna put a cup. Let me... Okay. So just a cup. And then throw it here. I'm guessing it's supposed to be there. Then turn it off. So there's a cup in there. Or uh, then we'll plug it in. And here, let's plug it. And then actually we're for Okay, so there's the bowl. I think this one is not actually maybe six inches or something or twelve. But yeah. So basically we're gonna start it now. I'm gonna turn it on. And then there's like a on button here. We'll just switch it. Switch it. Oh well, wait. on the floor there's some popcorn on the floor like maybe four five pieces and this one it's really hot careful that care, careful here this one when you touch it it's okay and this one it's not too bad like i mean this is really hot like the plastic thing so don't you dare touch it and this one i told you like if you're gonna put some butter in this in here then it will melt It'll, it will melt it will melt for sure and Total minutes, I don't know, says two to three minutes, which is nice. Just gonna remove this thing so the air can, you know, flow. The smell smells like burned, but yeah, I think it's just how it's supposed to be. And let's gonna let's try the popcorn itself if it tastes good. Mm. Oh, it's good. Popcorn. Mm. I like it. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. And some popcorn didn't pop. Let's see. I'm gonna transfer this so that we'll see uh, which popcorn or how much cor or kernel didn't pop. Not so much. And then if it didn't pop, then you can always use this one on the next 
Next popcorn. If it didn't pop, right? I think so. It'll be okay. So yeah, basically those are the popcorn didn't pop. Not too bad. For for it's um I mean for seventeen dollars some ninety something. This popcorn maker is not too bad. Betty Crocker movie night. I like it. All right. Thanks for your time, guys. That's the Betty Crocker movie night popcorn maker. I hope you like it. Just subscribe, and then we'll do some more um, video. Like, I have another cousin art there. That's a, um, what do you call it? It's a food processor. And then I'll also make comments on it, what's inside it, how to use it, and then check it out.